Hey everyone, it's me, Fiori J, aka Dr. Hikaru, giving you a vlog for endometriosis and doing it in the most lazy way possible. So, it's like past 11 o'clock of my time, so I'm vlogging from my hotel room um, just to kind of give you an update of how I'm doing. Uh, the eczema doesn't seem to be letting up around my eyes, so. After a few calls, I ended up having to make an appointment with a dermatologist to get this stuff resolved as well. So I am not too thrilled at having to have another doctor's appointment, but it would be nice to get some relief because the dry skin combined with the breaking out is kind of driving me nuts. I'm sorry the lighting is a little weird. It's, it's so yellow in my hotel room. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing great. Uh, I said before, this has been a really stressful week. On top of the normal workloads, I am dealing with IT problems up the butt, and it just makes me want to scream and shout. And if you've been following my Instagram, you have noticed that I have taken a liking to being a wino lately. So, uh, I will finish this bottle not much left in it very shortly I I have to make this conscious decision to be careful about taking that tramadol and my amitriptyline I think it's called the other medication I'm on but I will tell you that I sleep great I uh, except I'm super groggy in the morning from taking the amitriptyline it does it that way anyway whether I'm having my binge alcohol day or something I do not recommend drinking a bottle of alcohol every night, but, uh, you know, that's kind of how it's been. The pains for me, I mentioned next week I start my first period in four months. That's no, Sorry, I can do math. My first period since early December, December, January. Okay, so it's, it's three, it's a little more than three because we started my pill um, after my period, uh, before I had my period. So I was already on a normal pill cycle before I hit my first week. We already, or, sorry. I was on my normal pack of orthocycline. The last week when I was supposed to have my period, I didn't have it, and we went to amitriptyline. Seasonic, uh, my birth control right now, which is a three-month birth control. So I didn't have my period in December like I should have. And so I haven't had a December period, a January period, a February period, and I will have my March period. Um, for those of you who don't remember, I also struggle with PMDD, premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which means I have my hormones such in a mess that I get super irritated, more irrational, the supreme supremeness of PMS and and I, it just makes me feel like crap. Uh, that's one reason why we went on amitriptyline to kind of help balance out some of that disorder and my anxiety and any depression I may have my way but I think just the sheer amount of stress, the fact that antibiotics and Tamiflu wouldn't work on me, I think my body's just kind of shutting down. Um, It's been stressful. Um, people ask me, how do you deal with it? Some days I can't. Those are the days where I've learned to just uh, reach out to my friends or, or um, go on Facebook and rant. I've said before, some days it's easier to be positive than others. and. And, and I know from my own personal experience that holding it in ultimately is, is just not healthy. Um, I talked about it before about compartmentalization of taking things and putting them in boxes and not quite dealing with them. And you know, you reach a point with endo where you just run out of boxes, you run out of capacity and you can't do that anymore. And, kind of starting to feel like that way again for me. Um, so to help with it, I I line up key events that are going to make me happy. So like 
tomorrow is Friday. Saturday, Saturday, I'm going back. And I'm flying from one office to another office. So Saturday, I'm in the office working. And I happen to be working on my mood day. Uh, my friends have been phenomenal in helping me get through this. Full life baby. And uh, I'm getting all emotional and teary eyed. And so Saturday, even though I come in late tomorrow, fly in, turn around, and Saturday I've been working the week. I'm exhausted. I have endo. I'm still not completely 100% from the flu. I go to work, and then I resume packing, and I, my friend's birthday's that night, and normally I would have skipped it and said, sorry, I got too much going on, and instead I'm saying, I need an outlet, you are amazing, you are a super talented woman, and um, my, my other friends like her, I'm excited for my, my different friends to meet, and I was like, I need this outlet, I, I need something fun that's not work, or packing, or my life related, that I can rejoice with, or I'm seriously gonna go psycho, kill, hurt, do, yeah, I don't think I'd kill somebody, uh, I don't know. I just do something in my extreme throes of emotion uh, that just would not be smart. So my choice is, and my friends are all in this with me to get me out of the house, get me away from all the things that stress me and just kind of have fun and, and like I said before, that's kind of hard to do. It, it's hard to get this positive outlook and just, that's the way where I can use compartmentalization in a different way where I put it aside and I said I, can, I can't do anything about it and um, do it that way. So, wow, my arm's gonna get tired. Endometriosis Awareness Month, yay, here's my yellowness. I moved my Facebook event date so you guys all have the opportunity to join to share and invite people. It's called Endometriosis Awareness Month, Wear Yellow. It's public, it's by me, Fiona Jane. I shared it on my Dr. Igaru page. I shared it on my Fiona Jane page. I encourage all of you guys to help us out and give us whatever support you can get, even if it's a yay like. Um, yellow, you can hold up a yellow highlighter for all I care in the image. The fact that you're taking time to post something with yellow and shout out endometriosis awareness month means the absolute world to all of us it, it gets us excited it helps us on the days where we're just struggling like my days lately oh i'm all teary eyed um to my endo sisters who have been reaching out to me i wanted to say you guys are all phenomenal as well i uh, you inspire me to tell my story, even though it's hard, because when I get a comment that says, oh my god, I I feel like your videos, I could just show your videos, um, if I was a video screen, I could just like show your videos, because you capture my thoughts and my sentiments exactly, it just, I can't tell you how much that humbles me, and, you know, I, I feel like it's, uh, yeah, I'm getting all teary eyed about it. It just means the world to me to know that my words are, are are have value, you know, to people who don't know what this is and to people who do know what it is that I can give you strength and hope when, uh, when it's freaking hard. Um, like I said in my other video. So here's another video of me just kind of rambling on and trying not to get my finger on there. Um, so... Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody supporting me through this extremely stressful time in my life. Um, my hormones are raging, literally, literally raging, literally causing me issues. I feel so lucky. Um, but I talk about these things I've said before because I'm I'm trying to chronicle what I'm going through. I I talk for my endo sisters who are afraid to talk, don't know how to express it. And I talk for all of you guys out there who have no idea what I'm going through or have a small idea or are trying to sympathize me or whatever, you know. Um 
PMDD is no joke either. Um, a high percentage of us also have PMDD. No surprise. No known cure for that either. Just the medication, medication, medication. Some of us choose sometimes to turn to health medication. You know, um, don't worry, I'm a safe driver and I'm, I drink responsibly and I know my limits. That's why I didn't finish the bottle at the hotel, the other hotel I was at working. Um, I'd love to know what type of questions you guys have for me. Um, comments. I'm hanging in there. I'm sure if I try to do a video this weekend, I will be an emotional wreck. I know there's there's one topic that I'm trying to build the courage to to talk about. Um, I don't really want to say it now because I don't have the courage to talk about it, but it it's coming. It'll probably come after the move, after I get that stuff sorted. Uh, a very important topic to me and one that's really not easy to talk about, um, publicly at least. But thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you guys for, for your passion and your excitement and sharing endometriosis awareness month and, and following somebody like me who just kind of babbles on some light. Um, Let's see how long it takes me to upload this video. Last time it was a pain in my booty. Um, but thanks again, guys. I'm hanging in there. I'm dreading next week. I'll get through the weekend, which is like the power stress of work and moving. And I'm going to go through this painful process again. Shark week, I'll call it nicely. Um, but I'm not looking forward to it at all. Not looking forward to the cramping, the heavy cycle, the fact that I won't have hormones to stable me out and my PMDD is gonna be at its worst. The fact that I'll be a little tired more than so normally and I'll still have to go through with it. I'll be drained. But I'm gonna share it with you guys. Okay. Dr. Garu, Fiona Jean. I'm not really a doctor. It's a nickname. Remember that. Um, signing off for now. Thanks, guys.